Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let's talk some boxing. So Triple G is obviously upset with Canelo Alvarez because Canelo decided not to fight him on September 14th, this past September 14th. And, you know, Triple G, obviously, he signed with zone with the idea that he was going to get a third fight with Canelo. And obviously that fight didn't come to fruition. And whose fault is that other than his? The thing is, there's no reason for a third fight, in my opinion, at least. I mean, the first fight was a draw, and the second fight, Canelo won the fight, right? Now, whether people feel Canelo won the fight or lost the fight, it doesn't really matter because ultimately, Canelo is the person who decides who he fights next, and he doesn't want to fight Triple G for a third time, and to be quite honest with you, I think Triple G's on a decline. He's been on the decline for some time now. And if he fights Canelo for a third time, he will lose the fight more convincingly. All right? Now, Triple G, you know, he's disgusted with Canelo, disgusted with the decisions he's been making, when he should really be disgusted with his team and the moves that he's made. There was no reason for him to go over to the zone, you know? And we're going to say a lot of things in this video that a lot of people might not like, so it is what it is. Canelo Alvarez, this is, this is his plan. Right now, he's got an incredible resume, and he's going to be fighting Sergey Kovalev next. Who has Triple G and Sergey Kovalev on their resume? I don't know of any fighter that does. But in my humble opinion, Canelo Alvarez picked Sergey Kovalev for a very specific reason, because Sergey Kovalev doesn't like to get hit to the body, and he gasses out. That's the plan. Canelo Alvarez will beat Sergey Kovalev. He will have had two of two of the most like feared fighters in the last couple of years on his resume in Triple G and Sergey Kovalev. Now we know Kovalev has lost a couple of times. I mean, he's lost to uh, he's lost to what? Uh, he lost to Andre Ward. Uh, he lost to uh, Elader Alvarez, but he did avenge his loss. His last fight was against. I watched the fight. Um, damn, what's that? What's that dude's name from the UK? Um, damn, I don't know why his name is escaping me right now. But I, I wanted him to win the fight. Anthony Yardi, there we go. But uh, it was probably a little too soon for Anthony Yardi to be fighting Kovalev, and I was surprised because apparently Canelo Alvarez offered him step aside money, uh, and you know basically ensured him that you know you step aside, I'll fight Kovalev. And then, you know, after I beat Kovalev, you're next in line for a title shot. You know, that would have been, I thought that would have been a much better move for Anthony Yardi. would have made more money. But, I mean, you know, he figured he was ready. And a lot of fighters don't do that these days. You know, when they want to come up, they don't take hard fights like that. So, you know, shout out to Anthony Yardi. I, I kind of, I knew he wasn't ready, man. But I was really hoping he beat Sergey Kovalev. Now, Back to Sergey Kovalev and Canelo. Sergey Kovalev is also on the decline. And that's another reason why I'm picking Canelo to beat Kovalev, other than the fact that he's a racist. But, you know, uh, all things aside, um, I've got Canelo beating Sergey Kovalev. And Triple G has got to realize that nobody's checking for him right now on his own, man. We're just not, you know, we're not interested in that fight with Dariyevchenko. You know, he's got the guy's got one loss, I believe, to Danny Jacobs, right? So, and, and really, wasn't, didn't, Triple G didn't want to fight him back in the day. So, we're not interested in this fight right now. You know what fight we are interested in? We're interested in a fight against you. Maybe um, Demetrius Andrade. You know, a lot of people get upset when I mention these names. Andrade, Charlo, Saunders. I don't know why y'all get so upset when we mention those names. It's like, like Triple G basically... Got his claim to fame for beating a bunch of bums. It took a couple of uh, step-ups and Danny Jacobs. Shit. That's the only step-up I can think of. Danny Jacobs and he fought Canelo, right? I mean, if you want to say Kell Brook, I mean, Kell Brook was good at the time for the weight that he was at, but he wasn't no 160, you know? 
And and these guys make this mistake by chasing Canelo. Like, stop chasing Canelo, man. He's not gonna fight you if you don't think he can beat you, obviously. And that and that is a problem with boxing. Well, we got dudes that don't want to make these fights, man. Like, like in all honesty, I don't give a shit about Canelo fighting Kovalev, all right? I'd much rather see him fight somebody in his own division, you know, uh, a Charlo, a Saunders, uh, Andrade. I prefer to see those fights, man. But you know what? When you start bringing them names up, people are like, whoa, whoa, why would he fight Andrade? Why would he fight Charlo? When he's moving up in weight and fighting a much tougher fighter, well, there's a reason why he's stepping up in weight to fight this guy because he sees something. He sees some chinks in the guy's armor. He's going for this fight because he knows he can win. And 20 years from now, ain't nobody going to be talking about, oh, man, let's talk about some of the greatest fighters in, in the history of boxing. Canelo Alvarez, he's got a hell of a resume. Shit, he beat Triple G and Kovalev. Ain't nobody going to be remembering that Kovalev was an alcoholic, racist, um, you know, dude that couldn't put the bottle down and shit. Ain't nobody going to remember that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, except for the hardcores, man, but that shit don't even matter. Like, Terry Kovalev is a heavy drinker. Didn't he just get in trouble for, you know, we ain't, we're not even going to. Didn't he allegedly get in trouble for striking a woman, too? Didn't he do that? Like, what's up with these dudes, man? Anyway, Kovalev, you know, he, he prayed, he drank his vitamin C, and now he's got a, a fight with Canelo Alvarez, and nobody's interested in the fight. I'm not, I'm not really that interested in it, because I know how it's going to go. Canelo's going to gonna win. And even if it, the fight goes 12 rounds, and it looked like Kovalev won the fight, guess who's going to win the fight? Canelo Alvarez, because Golden Boy got the judges in their back pocket. So the shit don't even fucking matter, man. Like... Golden Boy be on that bullshit, you know. But hey, back back to Triple G, you know. Like, dog, you're 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 moving toward the end of your career. We know you chasing Canelo for that one last payday so you can give it up. But now you're talking about you want to move up to 168. Like, niggas ain't checking for you up there. Nobody's checking for Triple G. This 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 Sergey Daryevchenko fight, like, ain't that fight in like two weeks or something like that? Nobody's talking about it because nobody cares. All right. No one cares. And this is what you've done with your career. You you chase Canelo. Canelo feels like he beat you twice already. So in his eyes, he doesn't want to go through it. Like that chapter is closed. So you lost. You you, you took your L. L of the fucking year is over. All right? But anyway, let me know what you guys think about Triple G statement. Matter of fact, let's read Triple G statement off. If he's not coming like last time, it's no problem. I have a lot of guys, great champions, and I have a lot of options right now. Mm. I would work with great people. Eddie Hearn with corp corporate. What the fuck are you? Man, I'm not reading this shit no more. What are you talking about? These words don't go together. Hold on, I'm just reading his. Right now, I feel so strong. He knows I've had a lot of sparring. If he says it's better for him to fight Kovalev, okay. If he doesn't want people to want... If he doesn't want... What is, what is this quote, man? Triple G can't speak English, man. Damn. Shit. It's all over the place. I got to damn near read this shit in his accent to make it sound halfway decent, man. Triple G, you lost, all right? You made a mistake signing with the zone. Simple as that. You should have looked elsewhere. You don't, you don't chase after a guy like Canelo because this guy calls his own shots he, he defends his belt whenever he wants to. You know, he dropped the IB. Is it yeah, he dropped the IBF belt because the IBF ordered him to fight Daryevchenko. Canelo does what Canelo wants when he wants to do it. All right? So, Triple G, you and your little jean jacket, you know, bud that top button up because it's a little chilly out. It's about to start getting cold. You go ahead, go through Daryevchenko, and then the next fight I want to see you in is one of these young boys like Andrade. I want to see you fight Saunders. Charlo, any one of them dudes. Otherwise, you're irrelevant to me. Hit man boxing, drop a comment, like the video, subscribe, I'm out.
Shorty, I was studying my roots Quiet dude, neutral, playing everything cool Been a lot of things, I ain't never played a fool Young OG and I'm pouring up a deuce Catch me riding with a bad chick beside me Feeling glorious like life is astounding Let's get high and sit on top of a mountain This right here should have the real niggas bouncing Yeah, chill got back in effect I do it for the love, but I'm trying to get a check Need that respect, ain't no doubts about it If a nigga hesitating, I'ma snatch him out it Tired of these niggas thinking they know me I was on my fifth life back in 03 Doing things that they could not imagine They just wishing cold names be Aladdin Real 